Thank you, Ashley. Appreciate it. Thank you. How y'all doing this morning? Y'all good? Stand up if you're good. I'm fine. Y'all saw a menace, bro. Stand up if you're great. No? All right, well, God bless those who are having a bad day. Hope your day gets better. Anyways, y'all may be seated. Oh, what a morning. Anyways, I want to start off with a little story. And it's going to explain why I'm wearing a tie. And it's going to start off my little topic that I have. So, um, over two years ago, maybe, I started going to this church where this pastor took me under his wing. I was still pretty new. I knew nothing, nothing, literally nothing about the Bible or anything, even though I was born into like a Christian, you know, kuna, um, how do you say it? Household. Huh? Household. Household, yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> And this pastor took me under his wing and he showed me the ropes. He taught me how to read the Bible. He taught me how to pray. He showed me how to do all sorts of things, how to dress at church, how I'm supposed to act at church, how I'm supposed, to, how to evangelize, how to go talk to people out in the streets and tell them about Jesus. Um, and one day they were and I had a group of children, right, all being taken under the pastor's wing. And they had them choose a tie, right, that belonged to the pastors before them. And we were told to wear it the first day we were ever supposed to preach in front of people. And here I am wearing it. And I know, and it's bringing me peace knowing that he's out there. And he's, he taught me everything I know. And now I'm up here in, I guess, in a way, representing him with this tie. So, you know, a little nervous, but I'll get through this. Um, anyways, but yeah, peace. Peace is my topic. I'm, I, I want to start off. Um, Y'all look tired. Y'all tired? Yeah. All right, everybody stand up, everybody stand up, everybody stand up. Real quick, sorry, I know, uh, I'm so tired. Stand up, everybody. All right, stand up. All right, now everybody, give me one hop. One hop, everybody. One hop. One hop. Now raise your hand. Raise one hand, doesn't matter which. Just raise one hand. All right. Raise one hand. Now one step to the left, or is that? Yeah, left. One step to the left. One step to the right. Now jump twice. <laughs> Y'all just did the Cupid Shuffle. Yes, yeah. <laughs> sir. All right, um, all right, let's continue. Y'all can sit down, y'all can sit down. Just trying to get y'all awake. Anyways, so I want to start off with a quote from one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite characters from that movie. And it says, quit or don't quit. Noodles or don't noodles. You are too concerned with what is and what will be. What was and what will be. There's a saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift and that is why it's called the present. And I don't know if y'all have the picture of, of my character. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember, but in the movie, Poe was stressed out. He was nervous because the very next day, he had to do something he did not want to do. 
And this quote brought him peace. This quote brought him inner peace so that he could go the next day and do what he had to do. Right? All right. Um, let's see. So I'm going to continue with where I left off. This quote is a, it presents the, uh, or represents Poe when he was nervous and upset and stressed, and stressed eating peaches by himself. But after Master Uwe says this to Poe, he is more at ease and he isn't as worried. Our peace isn't our past or our future. Our past makes us angry, remembering all the bad things that happened to us. Remembering that boyfriend who broke up with you, that girlfriend who broke your heart, you know? Or that one comment your parents told you saying that you weren't worth anything, that you're not good enough, right? And that past makes us angry, we must let it go, right? And I don't know if I can have a volunteer. Yeah, Ashley, come on. <laughs> All right. So, oh, somebody else to hold the microphone? Angel, come on. These wires represent what's holding us back, our past, right? Let's say I'm, I'm a, a bad memory Ashley had two years ago, right? Anything, it can be from being rejected or being hurt by somebody, right? And let's say Rick is another bad memory she had when she was younger. Right, and now let's see, hold on to those, to those memories tight, all right? And now try and walk forward. Can you walk forward? Can you walk forward? No. Exactly. That's exactly what happens whenever we hold on to our past. We, when we hold on to our anger, when we hold on to, to negative thoughts and negative memories. It holds us back from going forward. It holds us back from our true potential. Who, who can give me an amen? Amen! Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate you. That's our past. That's our anger holding us back. Right? Now, our future can be scary. Who here plans on going to college? Who here is a little afraid of growing up and going to college? Living on their own, having to cook for themselves, having to clean their own room, <laughs> having to pay bills. Yeah, it's scary, huh? Or what about who here, who here plans on getting married? I'm single forever. Who's a little bit afraid of commitment? Being tied to one person for the rest of your life. Until death do you part. It's not I see you. <laughs> or having children. Having children running around your house making a mess. Exactly. We're all afraid. We're all a little afraid of our futures. In one way or another. But we need to leave that for when it comes. Face our fears when they get to us. And focus on what's right now. Focus on the good memories you're making right now. Last night I was talking to my little brother and he was worried or saying how he wants to grow up faster because he can't do anything, right? 
he's he's upset because he he wants to be he wants to have more freedom. He wants to learn how to drive. He wants to go out to the mall with his friends. He wants to have sleepovers, all sorts of things, right? And he can't because he's too young. But I told him, focus on what's going on right now. Focus on playing your video games. I can't do that no more. Focus on going to the park and playing with friends, going outside and throwing a ball. Because nowadays, I'm so distracted by my phone, I'm so distracted by responsibilities, I don't have time to do any of those things. Right? And I told him, focus on what's right now. He went, uh, he ain't listening to me. But my parents have a saying, de mi te acuerdas, you know? De mi te acuerdas, you will remember me. Right? Hey, whose parents have said that to them? De mi te acuerdas. Not like that. Right? I don't. All right. Now, I want to read a couple of verses because this really isn't a preaching if I don't read or take from the Bible. Amen. So I want to go first to John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Amen. And that is something you can tell yourself when you're afraid of the future when you're afraid of something coming to you. A future test, a future quiz, right? College or car payments, anything. Next we have Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Your mind will be at ease if you pray to God. If you praise God, your mind will be at ease no matter what situation you're in. This morning, so nervous when I woke up. I was, I was driving over here and I was so nervous and so scared for what was gonna come. But you know what I did? I put on some gospel music in my car and I started praising and I started singing and all the nerves just went gone. Just like that. Just gone. Praising in the car all the way here. And then I was starting to get nervous again while I was in the back there and I was hearing Ashley and everybody else singing and Paul and, and I started crying. I started crying and, and all, my, all my fears and worries and nervous just went away, right? <clears throat> now, who here has trouble sleeping? Sleeping at night, like worrying about problems or something you said three years ago that was kind of embarrassing. Oh, definitely. Or, you know, anything at all, right? Let's see. Psalms 4, 8. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Who, know, who here knows what that means? Of course, it's still knows. <laughs> um, if you lie down and go to bed, right, and right before you fall asleep, you pray to God, he will give you inner peace in your mind for you to fall asleep and dwell in safety. Right? Nothing can harm you when God surrounds you by his angels. And this is, a, this is a prayer I tell myself whenever I'm sleep, like I can't sleep at night. It like hits 11 o'clock and I can't fall asleep. Hits 12 o'clock and I can't fall asleep. Hits one o'clock, can't fall asleep. I grab my phone and start going on TikTok. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> and this is, this is one that I will never forget because it's the one I used to fall asleep. Romans 5.1 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Who here has something they feel guilty about? Who here has done something where they feel like they could have done better? Or they could have... Or like they sinned and they could have not sinned. 
They had the opportunity not to sin, but they did it anyways. This one says that Jesus Christ has justified our actions, so we should be at peace. We can be calm because we know that God has washed our sins away, right? Y'all falling asleep on me again? No. No? Y'all good? I'll make y'all do the cha-cha slide. I promise I will. <laughs> Isaiah 12, 2. Surely God is my salvation and I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. And there's tons more. There's tons more verses that talk about peace. These are just like the top 10 that I picked out and I'm not gonna read them all. So many times we worry about future or past or anything when really we should just be focused on right now. That's what's gonna bring you peace. Not the future or the past, but right now, right? Now, um, this morning, I saw a kid trying to pull chairs up here to set up for chapel. I don't know if they can put the, the picture up there. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes those chairs can be like our worries, our fears, our problems, our issues. And we struggle because we try to juggle them all at once. We try to take them all at once. I saw this kid struggling to bring the chairs over because there were too many, right? And he called over a friend and his friend helped him take the chairs because his friend was stronger, taller, a little bit, you know? And sometimes we have to call on God to be our friend to help us through our struggles, to help us through our issues, to help us through our problems that we try to juggle all on our own. Responsibilities that we can't handle. And there's only one person who can handle all those responsibilities and all those problems. Can, can y'all say it? Jesus. Jesus, let's say it. And finally, I wanna end, you know, short and sweet, I want to end with a song that I really like, that always brings me peace. I was actually singing in the car this morning, right? And don't worry, it's not a slow song. Y'all will wake up after this one. So go ahead and play it, guys, with the video, too. There you go. Hey, yo.
that Christ has set me free. The Lord is my I'm not anxious about anything because the peace of God guides my heart. Enjoy that? Yeah. Much better than the usual pace, huh? Usually kind of slow and yeah. Sometimes I'll be falling asleep too on accident. Don't get me in trouble for that. Um, anyways, that's it, guys. Um, y'all, y'all saw them? No fear. No, no anger. Just in the moment, praising God, dancing because they knew they were making this video. No fear. No anxiety. They weren't scared to dance. They weren't, they weren't slowly doing the moves. No, they were going fast. They were going all out. That's how we have to be too. I saw y'all in chapel, all sluggish and slow. Like, oh, we're seeing moves, boys, bro. Sluggish and slow. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's it, guys. Appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, the smokes. Thank you, Daniel, for that. Praise the Lord.